Welcome to Gleaning in God's Word. Today we're going to take a quick look at a single word out of Lamentations 1-2, which describes ultimate or intensified comfort. Reading Lamentations 1-2. She weepeth sore in the night. Her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers she hath none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her, and they are become her enemies. While it made sense that only intensified comfort could overcome superlative weeping, I struggled to come up with a mental image of intensified comfort. The Hebrew word Menachem showed at the top of the slide in the, the modern Hebrew characters in bright green, and in the middle of the slide in the large ancient Hebrew characters. But we have a word picture that begins and ends with the letter Mem, which depicts waves of water, and between the two pictures of water, we have the word that spells Noah. Noah surrounded by water is a picture of Noah surrounded by water in the ark during the flood. Well, Noah means comfort. In my book, Messages from God, in chapter 13, I showed that water concerns chaos, trials, and where God is concerned, cleansing. Noah literally means comfort from sin's curse. Its full meaning is given in Scripture in Genesis 5.29, he was going to bring comfort from the curse, and the curse was caused by sin. So our comfort, again, water can mean cleansing. We have water cleansing us from our sins. Where God is concerned and where the world is concerned, we have God protecting Noah in the ark from all of the chaos and tribulation. Now, if we break down the word Noah... We have the letter noon, which points to Jesus, the seed of the woman, or the son of man. And the letter heth, whose ancient character depicted a fence or a hedge, a wall of protection. And it's not surprising that this letter represents sanctification and also regeneration. So in protecting us from the world's chaos, or cleansing us from our sins, we have Jesus the seed of the woman, the son of man, sanctifying and protecting his people by his grace. If you reverse the letters and put the, the letter heth first, followed by noon, that is the Hebrew word for grace, hen. And that word first appears in Scripture in Genesis chapter 6 when it said that Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord. For ultimate or intensified comfort, we have someone being protected from ultimate chaos, ultimate weeping, ultimate terror. What is more terrifying than a flood that will destroy the earth? The comfort is that knowing you're safe inside of the ark and protected from everything that goes on outside. And in a spiritual sense, we have Jesus protecting us from eternity in the lake of fire by salvation through his blood. I talk about superlative weeping and intensified comfort in videos GGW-9 and GGW-10 respectively. I hope you'll take the time to take a deeper look. For now, this is all I have. God bless you and goodbye.